everyone, I'm Ruchira. I'm one of the physical therapists at Breakthrough Physical Therapy. And today I'm going to teach you some exercises you can do in your kitchen. I have seen that ever since this pandemic has began, people are gotten into cooking. So they're stirring, they're baking, they're putting things in and out of the oven, having fun, which is great. But I've also seen a spike of cases where there's pain in the shoulder and the neck area. Uh, so what happens is if your activity level, like not just the pandemic, but even in general, if you're stirring a lot, wiping a lot, if you're doing these repetitive activities, but the demand is higher than the strength and the endurance of these rotator cuff muscles, they are going to get strained and inflamed. So then we as physical therapists will devise program for you. We'll use bands and your different sort of tools to get that inflammation under control to strengthen it. But then the challenge that I have faced is a lot of times people are like, I don't have time to do these exercises. So what I I thought why not combine make you do the exercises while you're cooking using the fun things you have in your kitchen you stay stronger and you can cook whatever you feel like so let's get started the first exercise is called bilateral shoulder external rotation so what you do is you put your shoulder elbow in one line have your elbow bent around 90 degrees thumbs are facing out so if you watch me from the side shoulder elbow in one line 90 degree bend at the elbow thumbs facing out you want a nice tuck in your chin, so don't look down and tuck in, don't look up. So look straight ahead, have a neutral neck alignment, and then tuck your chin in. Squeeze your shoulder blade with your thumbs facing out. Squeeze the area between your shoulder blade, then rotate your arms out. You hold there for around five seconds, slowly come back in. So for the first few weeks, you can just focus on doing this. Okay, just to get your rotator cuff and your shoulder blade muscles sort of activated. Once this feels easy enough, you can progress to using pots in your house. So see the feel of it. You know, if you still feel your arm gets fatigued quicker, grab a very light pot. Okay, hold here, chin tucked in, squeeze your shoulder blade. Again, rotate, hold for five seconds, come back in. And again, you can do this till you start feeling a little bit of burn in the shoulder blade and the side of your shoulder. And then once that gets easy, you can grab something heavier like your pan. Again, watch out that when you're holding the pan, you're not letting your wrist collapse down like this. Okay, so still keep the wrist neutral. Otherwise, you'll strain the wrist. Again, hold here. Tuck your chin in. Squeeze, come back in. The second exercise is called the standing T, and this is specifically to strengthen your rhomboids and the middle trapezius muscle. Uh, I'll show you up against the wall in a minute, but what I want you to primarily do is have your thumbs facing out. You're going to squeeze the area between your shoulder blade without hiking your shoulder up, and then you just hold here for five. One of the common mistakes that people do is they extend their arms too far back or they hike their shoulder. So that's why wall is very important. Let's do it up against the wall. So have your thumbs facing out, elbow is straight. You squeeze the area between your shoulder blades and then you come back. Again, in line with your body, don't go too far back. And again, once this gets easy, you can use water bottle, pots and pans and make it as tough as you like. with your feet forward a little bit that's fine but your back should be absolutely flat against the wall no arching then you have your shoulder 90 degree elbow 90 degree some people are tight in their rotations and they may not be able to touch the wall but do not touch the ball wall by arching your back okay now you squeeze your shoulder blade together and pull your shoulder slightly down towards the floor so pull your shoulder blade down together and then you start reaching sliding up against the wall if you lose this contraction, don't keep sliding up. Then you slowly work on controlling your motion as you come down. So I don't want you to go up and then just drop down like this. Okay, so it has to be nice and controlled. Go up and even coming down, you want to pull that shoulder blade down and slowly come back up. This is a really fun and challenging exercise. Try this out. The last exercise we're going to do is called as the wall circles, which is also very good for your rotator cuff muscles. So grab a kitchen towel, stand up facing a wall in your kitchen you can just hold here push out and then you can go small circles so 
the smaller and slower you go, the more you will feel the burn in your rotator cuff muscle. So you can do a few reps clockwise and then counterclockwise till you start feeling a burn right here. Same thing you can do it facing sideways. Again do small circles clockwise and then small circles counterclockwise. enjoyed these exercises these were just rough guidelines to help you prevent pain with cooking in case you are in acute pain and it's really bothering you definitely come to us and seek our guidance but hope you have fun and pain-free cooking with these exercises and if you find them helpful definitely share it because somebody else might too take care ciao